it it's very disturbing it it's like children in standard six I mean he, he said it he know what he felt he know what he knew what he knew right and for him to um, say it I mean I it's the way how I look at it is like he see saw everybody there at that funeral and it was in him because he was standing there like he was thinking you know and I say when he went up and he said that I said was like man I mean my sister said man he said I feel good when he said that but then on the other end I said he dead because I knew what would happen to him because I knew they would have let him retract that because as they all say that they are still investigating it, but I know, you know, everybody else know that who has come from out and in bush, Guatemalans, nobody else. So, um, as I said before, I just like to say thanks to Mr. Thompson and the um, entire San Ignacio Police Force. And what is said is said, you can't take it back. I recall my aunt used to always tell me there are three things in life that you cannot take back. Time that has passed, an hour that has been spent, and words that has been spoken. The fact that they made him add something else does not remove the fact that those words were uttered and it's forever ingrained in somebody's iPhone and some some DVD somewhere or some camera. So it doesn't matter what they say. I think the government forcing him to take it back or his superiors under the instruction of whatever powerful minister or official forcing him to take that back is not a reflection of him. It's a reflection of them, how coward they are and how fearful they are. Like, you mean he can't say that it is a Guatemalan? Hello?